Please have a good everyone. The Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Sipiwini Rambuka, the Managing Director and Chief Executive of the PG Airways, Mr. Andre Kriyan. Burunaka. Good morning. We are managing director and uh, chief executive of executive leadership team, members of the staff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you most sincerely for the very solemn ceremonies of welcome and also for the very kind words you have given us this morning. I'm wearing my uh, school tie to honor senior members of the Queen Victoria School Old Boys Association who had served in the senior ranks of Fiji Airways and the management of the airport in times past. I was told we are a sports shirt today. I know that uh, the gentleman who welcomed me and flew across with me was not wearing a suit on the aircraft. But I want a suit to show my respect to the CEO and all of you. This is my first official visit, and it's not like any of the ones I've had before. I've had uh, two official visits in the past, each after I was sworn in to be Prime Minister. Now I'm back. The third time I've been sworn in as Prime Minister, and the third time I've been welcomed as an official guest for the first time in my term, and it's today. So thank you very much. I'd like to uh, congratulate you for all that you have achieved. After 70 years, you achieved the great achievement, accolade, and accomplishment. You have acquired for Fiji the respect. We didn't know we deserved. Now we know. We didn't know we were even noticed by the great airline powers of the world. 
now we know. Two nights ago you celebrated and I'm sorry that I couldn't be there. I told the Deputy Prime Minister, I asked him to convey my apology, whether he did or not, I do not know, but I apologize now for not being able to be here with you on Friday night. I remember when I, uh, my first time, second time to come to Itilevu, I came by a Fiji Airway, the old Fiji Airway. I sat with my father in the same one, on my one seat on the other side of the, uh, the passage. I saw somebody in white and black, black trousers and white shirt and a tie come to the wing on my side and pull the propeller. Pulled it to start the engine. Pulled it down and boom, it went. Then he went across to the other side where my father was sitting and pulled that one. That's how I flew from South South to North South. I was wondering how are we going to stop this? Will the pilot go out there and try to stop this thing? <laughs> I was very young then. It, it somehow shows the the leaps and the bounds and the steps that our airlines have taken over the years. Now, 70 years later, we are where you are. And 74 years later, I am where I am. Very soon, it'll be, I'll be 75. And I'd like uh, to celebrate with you your success. Okay. Toward the end of my term as Prime Minister, I went to Toulouse to look at Airbus. I came back and got cabinet to agree that Fiji Airway or Air Pacific then would fly, would fly Airbus. A few months later, I was told by the chap who sat in your seat and the minister who sat in my cabinet that we would stay with Boeing. When I go to the World Cup, I hope to be able to go down to Toulouse to have a look at the fact. Thank you very much for your achievement. The Star Trek Award is no mean feat. When you consider all the airlines of the world, just going about, performing their duties, serving the public, serving their board, and uh, achieving their missions and vision. You also did that. But while doing that, you were assessed to be the best among equals. So congratulations. Through your dedication and tireless efforts, you have transformed our beloved airline into a symbol of excellence, a source of national pride and inspiration. Congratulations. Your achievements are a testament of your collective efforts as a team that make up the Fiji Airways Wu Valley. You have consistently gone above and beyond the call of duty, ensuring the utmost comfort and safety of our passengers. The CEO mentioned three words this morning. I don't know whether it's already part of your promotional language. We fly Fiji. 
whether it's already in use or not. But there are three very powerful words. Your natural smile and genuine hospitality is something that I've always noted absent in the other airlines I've been on. Maybe I'm just too much of a patriot. But I noticed the difference. And I'm glad that those that are safe, the airlines of the world, also noticed it. And you brought us proud, a pride, in our country, in our airline, airline, by winning the award that you've just won. To the management team of PG Airways, I thank you all for your exceptional leadership and strategic vision. Through your unwavering commitment to innovation and efficiency, you have successfully steered PG Airways through really turbulent times. There were a lot of uh, foreseen turbulent times, and as you all know, there are also texts in the air, clear air turbulences that you could not see until you hit them. You overcome numerous challenges and made some very difficult decisions in the past. I remember sitting on the road by the drain while they were fixing that piece of road just outside the gate. Crying with those that had been laid off. That was Christmas Eve of that year. I made a law at home and brought it all the way here to share with those. I'm glad that you have decided that the 212 employees that were laid off during the times of the pandemic crisis will be allowed to continue work after training, reconditioning, or whatever you do with the aircraft you've done with your workers. Hopefully they will, they will really enjoy the new profile they come back into. Your government is committed to ensuring the PGA family remains intact. The People's Coalition government recognizes the key role that the airline industry plays in the revival of the tourism sector. We provide jobs to our people in villages and our communities. Your government is determined to ensure that the industry thrives because we understand the important role that you play in the economic survival of the country and its people. Your government has demonstrated this commitment by allocating Tourism Fiji a substantial operating grant of $7 million. And when Deputy Prime Minister Ngavoka reminded me, sir, when you were Prime Minister in the 1990s, you gave us a big boost also at that time. That $7 million is coupled with a significant marketing budget of $30 million. Andre would say, never enough. <laughs> I told Biman, you've not given Fiji enough. The budget is never enough. But we have to make do with what we get and use it wisely with the, the more restricted ones that we had. You achieved greatly. This allocation is to help boost the tourism authority's work of promoting Fiji as a world-class destination. We take it for granted that everybody else has come up. We took winning the seven, Hong Kong seven for granted. And everybody came up and beat us. We thought Fiji was the perfect destination for every tourist in the world. 
but others have improved. So we have to stay ahead, we have to promote ourselves, we have to do our job well. I am confident that Fiji Airways will continue to be a vital link that connects our nation to the world and a key driver of our economic growth. Your commitment to maintaining essential air services, even, the, even during the most challenging times, has been nothing short of remarkable. As we look towards the future, I have no doubt that Fiji Airways will continue to soar to greater heights and your capable leadership, CEO and your leadership team, and all the workers under your command. Your commitment to excellence under your leadership. <laughs> your commitment to excellence, innovation, and customer satisfaction is an example to us all. Your government, the people of Fiji, all the Fijians are fully behind you and have complete confidence and faith in your ability. May you continue to pride and bring pride to our nation. Thank you very much. Continue to fly Fiji.